Hi everyone. Um, I am getting ready to put my very first uh, emu eggs laid by my very own emu in my incubator. Last year, I or last season, I incubated a couple eggs that I bought that were emu eggs in this incubator. I had a very, very hard time with humidity. Um, I do understand that the surface area of the container that the water is in affects the humidity and all of that. No matter what I did, I could not keep the humidity constant. It's very possible it has to do with my house. Um, I do have gas heat and it was during the winter, so I'm sure that that was fluctuating humidity some. And um, so this time I've, I've done a couple things. I've switched the location of where I'm keep, keeping my incubator. It's much further away from the doors coming in and out of the house. I do realize that some people are going to say I have it next to a window, which is bad. However, that is the north side of the house. So um, the sun actually doesn't even hardly shine in this window at all. Um, I've had this incubator sitting here for about a month now, and I've been watching it very carefully. And uh, humidity was okay, but I was very concerned about when I start to turn the heat on when it starts to get cooler. So I went ahead and I got this humidity kit. I almost bought this last year, and uh, last season, but I decided not to, and I probably should have done it then. Um, I got this yesterday. Um, and just so that you're aware, I have a uh, GQF Sportsman 50, 1502 incubator. Um, I bought it from Incubator Warehouse uh, a little over a year ago. Anyway, um, I went ahead and got the humidity kit. I put it, in, hooked it up last night. It does have a cord right here. I'll show you. It has this sensor that you put in inside the uh, the incubator. It can sit in here wherever, but I have it down here right now. Um, I've been watching it really carefully. I have a a little thermometer and it has the humidity on it and it Bluetooths to my phone. If the same brand has one that's Wi-Fi, if you need to be able to uh, remotely do it like from somewhere other than your home. But, it, and I used this last year, and this works awesome. Um, it's Grovy or Govi brand and it, it's, it's been wonderful. Never had a problem with it at all. I just been having a horrible time with the humidity, you all. Um, and I have a friend down the road a few miles that was hatching emu and she was having the same exact problem I was. No matter what we did, we couldn't get the humidity to stay right. So I got this humidity kit. I plugged it in last night. I put the bottle of water in. The only thing that's bad about it, that's a little frustrating is that the end here does not actually fit in the hole. Um, no matter what I do, so I just have to kind of bend it where it'll stay. So that is a little frustrating because it won't actually fit through the hole. But in any case, it's been doing an awesome job. You can see it blowing out the, and it's doing a lot right now because I've got the door open and it's trying to keep it, keep the humidity in there. That's all the water it's used since uh, last night. It's been 24 hours. So I have been watching and I have the little app that goes with this has where I can set a range for the humidity and for the temperature, and then if it goes outside of that range, it'll alert me on my phone so that I can come check immediately. It stayed within the range, range perfectly, which I've never had before. So I'm hoping this will remain. I will update you as time goes on. Um, but so far, I'm very impressed with it, and I'm hoping it'll continue to work once I turn my heater on when it gets colder uh, during the winter. So we'll see how that goes. But so far, so good. It's doing awesome. Like I said, the only thing I don't like is the end. I wish that they had different size tips, uh, maybe a, an extension on the tips that gave different sizes because it will not fit in this and I'm not gonna drill a bigger hole. Um, that could possibly, you know, I can't undo a hole. I, I do. This is the way they, they come with these plugs for this particular incubator. So I'm just gonna have to do the best I can with it. Like I said, it's staying put. So it's at least doing its job. I just wish that, you know, I wish it would fit in the hole. Uh, but it's doing its job, so I'm not gonna explain too much about it. You just have to kinda, kinda watch it. So anyway, um, I'm happy with it so far. And I just wanted to let everybody know how it's going in case you've had problems too. 
and you're trying to hatch emu because emu do require totally different humidity than most most birds and it is a little tricky because most incubators are, are made and geared towards um, hatching chicken eggs or for me, for me I like goose eggs or you know turkeys or whatever and they don't require this small of an amount of humidity so um, hopefully this helps y'all out and uh, like I said if I uh, can give you an update here probably in the next month or two I'll let you know how it's going okay talk to y'all later